Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another cool tarot reading for you guys. Yes, and Capricorn, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and anybody who resonates with it because it is a reading for the collective. So uh, it's probably going to be a love reading. I have my uh, crystal heart here. Yes, I do. And these have been shuffled very well. And the bottom of the deck was the Hierophant. The Hierophant is about having faith in something. It is also about, sometimes it's a marriage card, sometimes it's about learning because he uh, is the mentor and, the, you know, they're looking to him for basically guidance, right? Uh, yeah, so let's see what else we have, though, in this reading, and uh, let's go ahead and cut the cards, though. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the High Priestess starts the reading. Uh, the Knight of Cups. Let's, and let's put these oracles down, Capricorn. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is a very cool reading. Here we see the Four of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Both of those are, uh, and the Knight of Cups. Excellent cards here, uh, for sure. Let's see what we have from the Lover's Path deck, right? And let's see what we got for Capricorn. Princess of Arrows, all right, that's Psyche. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, Psyche. Psyche was really smart psychologically, right? Of course she was. She said, uh, don't be a big dummy, right, about about stuff, right? Uh, right? So, I mean, psychology is the study of the, psych of the psyche. For sure it is, right? Uh, and, you know, uh, it's so rela related to a psychic awareness, and it, it sure is related. But uh, here we have the two of wands, too, and he's holding up the globe. Uh, we have the Queen of Stabs. She can be the Queen of Wands. They call her uh, Fricka. So, you know, it's a German name, I believe. Let's get one more card. And now we have the Four of Coins. So, let's see what else we have, uh, Capricorn. We start with the Princess of Arrows. And she is Psyche. So, let's have a look at Psyche. Uh, mm -hmm. And here she is. And so we have messages, education, and articulation. Interesting in this deck, uh, the princesses are about messages, right? So, yeah, they are. And uh, mm -hmm, I guess they are. We don't have pages in this deck, so they are considered uh, the pages. Yeah, okay, very cool. Um, mm -hmm, because after that is the knight, and then the queen, yes, and then the king. So this is a page. And let's see what they say about Psyche, who looks like she's uh, uh, bringing uh, information of love or, and all these. She's got her heart, uh, her heart sword or heart arrow. And then she has all these butterflies. Uh, beautiful. Let's see what they say. And this is news that brings sense to a situation. The ability to create influence and bring understanding using the power of words. Somebody is coming or you are... Uh, wanting somebody to understand your message here, Capricorn, whatever that is, right? Uh, only you will know. Um, and the two of uh, wands is here. They call this the staff. So this is usually a choice or a crossroads. New ventures, partnership, and ideas. Somebody wants either a new venture with you, like business, or, uh, right, or a relationship. And so here is the queen of wands, and she is Fricka, see we got for Fricka, yeah, and uh, don't say bad words, you guys, just kidding, uh, that's not nice, right, let's see what we got, uh, who is quite beautiful here, she is, uh, she probably doesn't appreciate my uh, making fun of her name, right, or sort of, I wasn't, but let's see what we have for, uh, uh, yeah, let's see, the Queen of Stabs, power, cleverness, and talent, Intelligence and power applied to creating a pragmatic actions, material goods, business expansion, wit and wisdom, enthusiasm and action, and support. Yeah, somebody could be supporting you here, Capricorn, in some type of business venture. It's definitely possible, but they are bringing uh, a message here, and they are bringing messages of, like, clarity and messages, uh, of, like, of the future, basically, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, somebody wants to create something with you here. They do, uh, right? And no, I wasn't making fun of Fricka's name. And here, how cute she is. I was just being uh, being my silly self. Four of coins, and let's see what they say. This is a four of pentacles for uh, wealth, security, inheritance. 
stability of material forces in one's life yeah somebody wants to create for some of you guys this is creating a business or, or there's an opportunity to work together with somebody for some this may be about family a family inheritance this could be a talent uh oh interesting money land or equality uh because it's pentacles a talent money land or equality that adds richness to your life in other words a value and satisfaction uh, something really good is showing up for you capricorn i feel like it is let's see what they these cards have to say uh and in the flow everything is smooth sailing all right so we have this lady and she's coming in on her sled up in the air right watching clouds lie back rest and relax everything's working out capricorn whatever you are whatever is on your mind here is working out and the mindset is the ace of pentacles a lot of pentacles kind of with in terms of like the energy in terms of a valuable or uh or something you really believe in too but it is something stable and the mindset is to have that here or to offer it or uh and this definitely could be business because the pentacles is money right uh money and values basically and so let's see what else we have here knight of king of wands and here you are, Capricorn, you're showing up reversed. We have all these reversals uh, at the bottom here. Wow. So uh, four reversals in this deck. And we start with the overall energy, which is the high priestess. Now, in this reading uh, where somebody wants to build with you or you are trying to kind of build an enterprise or something here or build a relationship, this is like really trusting it. And we see that with the high priestess. We see in the flow, everything is smooth sailing. And, you know, she is in the flow. The high priestess is always in the flow because she's trusting her intuition. Of course, she's in the flow, right? She doesn't, um, she doesn't make poor decisions because she, she just doesn't. Maybe she did not uh, another part of her life before she became the official high priestess, right? <laughs> yeah. Before she got voted in, right? For sure. And so uh, we have could be a Pisces or a Scorpio here and the Knight of Cups is in the challenge it's showing up with the Ten of Wands reversed so somebody really believes in something or they're in love with you or both now when we see the Knight of Cups sometimes it is about believing in uh, believing just believing like trusting your intuition and sometimes it is about love it can be about creativity with the cups so somebody wants to create something here we know that uh, and the Four of Wands is why it's all happening. So this could be a celebration, but this definitely, uh, the Fours are about security or bringing some type of stability. And here is the Ace of Pentacles, which also speaks of stability. We have the Four of Cups in the past. Uh, this is like, uh, I wasn't in the flow, and now I want to be in the flow. This is kind of a rejection or a boredom or something like that. Uh, and somebody is coming, or you are e expressing how they how you value them uh business or love right definitely and the king of wands uh let's get a card on the king of wands uh he might be in four of pentacles maybe there is uh, a fire sign who wants to hold on to you but once again this is all about values for sure right and the concern capricorn uh is the the concern is the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Somebody could be concerned here that, I don't know, you might not agree with this, or, uh, or maybe you read them in, in a way that they feel like uh, they don't feel like they are. Let's see, Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. uh, very interesting here, right? Yeah, and so that may not be you, but uh, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. If it's not you, it's about somebody who kind of no longer values something or they don't want to nurture it they don't want to give to it uh yeah wow and uh five of cups there could be somebody who regrets uh regrets something but they are definitely going with the flow uh this is like saying hey don't worry everything's going to be totally fine lie back rest and relax watching clouds that's the card we have and uh, there could be regret here, possibly about the past, maybe. Uh, but, you know, this can also be, for some, this could be I'm ending some type of an emprise, enterprise and 
I'm going with Capricorn. It's possible. Uh, definitely it is. And so in the environment is Eight of Wands reversed. This could be like there was too many responsibilities or blockages in another opportunity. It could be. Uh, and Eight of Wands in the upright. Look at that. So, you know, this is in the environment. This is letting go or moving on or something like that from something that was blocking happiness or progress or change. And when we have, you know, uh, in the flow, this is about accepting change, right? It's about trusting it here. Wow. And the, the hope here, three of wands reversed Capricorn. The hope here is... Uh, let's get a card on the hope and you know something kind of ends here too uh, whether or not it's a value or an attitude it could just be like a belief system kind of or you know it could definitely be that uh, and so here we have the three of wands reversed and we have the empire emperor with it yeah this is taking control of somebody's taking control of their life you are Capricorn or this person and turning their back on something else or seeing, understanding that this need, this doesn't need to be part of my future anymore. There's a major shift here for somebody. Two of Wands reversed in the potential outcome. Uh, yeah, and we have the Empress with it. So the Empress can be about love for sure. Uh, it can also be, you know, uh, we have, you know, Taurus rules the second house uh, about money, money and value. So this can once again be about money how you are earning your money, Capricorn. And we know the Empress can be about love. It, it is about fertility, right? Uh, you know, when we see the, the second house or the Taurus version, we see fertility, money. Uh, but when we see Libra, Venus in Libra, uh, we can, you know, this can be about self-care. It can also be in the second, uh, the second house, Taurus. But this is in the seventh house or where Libra rules and Libra, you know, Venus, this is Venus, right? Uh, you know, ruling, ruling Libra and Taurus. But when we see it for Libra, it's beauty, it's beauty, and it is relating to others, right? Uh, relationships and things like that. So this can be about either or for you guys. Is my point. Uh, whatever it is for you, Capricorn, it's definitely working out for you. It's definitely working out. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. and this is happening soon. This is. Yeah, this is just happening soon. I can feel it here, uh, especially Eight of Wands in the environment, right? Yeah, so Capricorn, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may always get one. Uh, go ahead and, you know, uh, open the calendar below, and you can book it there. And I'm accurate. I'm a silver grad. It can be about your career, love, somebody else, uh, whatever, right? It could be about your own, uh, you know, uh, personal aspects or, you know, matters. And they're really uh, fun. We do them on the phone or we do them over a video call. They're very personal. It is an experience. And you can get a tarot spread with that. And go check out uh, the calendar, right? If you would like your chart read, uh, that is the ultimate. Yeah, that is the ultimate uh, in terms of your life path. Uh, where do we go from here? Things like that. Thank you so much, you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And please hit uh, the little bell in order to receive my notifications.